Okay, so today we're going to talk a little bit about these solar lights I use. Sometimes, a lot of times, people have questions about uh, what I use and how they work and that sort of thing. And you know, uh, uh, we've used a couple of, of types of these, and uh, I really got into where I really like them. So. I guess first, uh, what I'll tell you is we'll go over the, the negatives because a lot of a lot of times people want to use, um, you know, the wired LED lights, which is fine. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, the wired LED lights they're gonna uh, last a little bit better, be brighter. Uh, uh, they're especially useful if you have a, some tall palms or something that you want to light that these solar lights just won't light but um, they have a lot of drawbacks too uh, you know the main the main drawback to the wired LED lights for your landscape especially if you have a, a lot of plants is once you put them out and go to all the work of uh, digging your uh, your line and that sort of thing your roots are going to grow over that line it's going to be almost impossible to move and there's just a lot of places that led lights won't go and so that's what we'll we'll get into some of the positives of the, of the uh, solar lights here in a little bit but um, these solar lights that i use are from amazon and you'll see them on there. They have a, a solar panel on this side and they have a lot of LED diodes on this side and they come on automatically at, at dusk and go off at dawn and they have a little button on the back where you can press it and uh, put them on low or high. I usually just leave them on low because there doesn't seem to be a lot of difference. But, um, you know, they, uh, uh, we'll go over a couple of the negatives about the solar lights in particular that I don't like, and then we'll go over the positives. So obviously, one, one of the things I don't like about the solar lights is the way they look. They're, they're pretty big, um, uh, and during the day, you know, they look... They kind of stand out a little in the landscape because almost all lights would even the led lights to some extent uh, but uh, you know that bothers me a little bit uh, the other negative is you know they generally last about i would say these on average last about two years uh, and sometimes you know something will go wrong with them you know they're uh they're water will get inside them or something like that and you'll have to replace them so they're kind of a pain for that but uh, uh, you know the positive is is these lights I mean uh, you know it's really obvious you can put them anywhere which you know if you had to run the, the wire for some of the uh, lights you just wouldn't be able to put them in some places like uh, for instance, I take one and I just put it in this pot here, you know, to light this up at night. And, uh, you know, obviously it, you're not gonna be able to do that with uh, the wired uh, lights. You know, if I decide I wanna move uh, one of these lights, you know, it's just as simple as picking it up and pulling it up and sticking it somewhere else. Uh, what happens with all our lights here is uh, in the summer, you know, I have a lot of other plants that grow and they'll grow in front of the light or over the light or that sort of thing. And, you know, I can either move the light or uh, do whatever I want to with it. So, you know, I really like these lights. Um, uh, one other thing I'll say about these lights is there's different uh, color temperatures of these lights. You know, you can get them in a, a warm white or like a daylight and the color that looks the best on these these lights in my opinion is the warm uh, uh, warm white uh, soft white whatever they call it there and those are uh, 
just look a lot better on the landscape at night. Um, um, I just think it's a better look. But uh, the solar lights, the other thing when I bought these lights that, that I didn't realize was so good about them. See, I have another one in a pot here. Is these things will work even in the shade. And so here we have it under our, our pergola here. And hey, this one's under a plant and everything else. And I just stick it in a planter to light up our bamboo here at night. And you know, I'll show you some pictures here of the, uh, the nighttime lit up by these. But, uh, you know, even in the shade, these things get a lot of light because the sun bounces off uh, different surfaces during the day and shines on these solar panels. So you don't have to put these things in direct sunlight for them to work. And so they can be put in a shady area and they will work probably for four or five or six hours a night. And it's just kind of amazing. Uh, you know, if you put these lights in the sun, they'll work all night if they get, uh, you know, good sunlight. So they're very good at, at lighting up uh, uh, shorter palms that are, you know, up to eight or 10 foot tall. You know, I put one here and you uplight these palms and uh, it's just very easy to do. And uh, yeah, like I say, we've had so many different places uh you know if i was to run a the wired lighting around in this landscape i'd be constantly digging into it or or trying to redo it or or roots would grow around it and i wouldn't be able to move it and uh it would just be a big hassle but the uh solar lights here have been really good and uh we really like them especially at night uh they're really good and so I'll put a link in the description to, uh, to the ones we use. But, uh, you know, I think if, if uh, you give them a chance, uh, uh, you'll be real happy with them. And, you know, you could also intermix these in with your uh, wired lighting if you wanted to. And that way uh, you could have the best of both worlds. Put the wired lighting in the places where uh, you need a little bit brighter light and put these in places where you just can't get to uh, or don't want to run the, the cords for these type of lights and uh, that way you've got the best of all worlds so we'll talk to you guys later